Bees Matte Sticks Lip Wood. Matt. The Burt's Bees Matte Sticks Collection. Say that five times fast. Burt's Bees Matte Sticks Collection. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Oh, God. Oh, on my eye. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel, Lily's Lens on Life, where we like to discuss travel and lifestyle topics, but with a specific focus on sustainability and living low waste. Today's video is another lipstick swatch video. I really enjoy doing these ones for you. I've always been a bit of a makeup junkie, so I find especially playing around with bold, colorful lips really, really fun, and it's just such an easy way to change up your look from day to day. In my last lipstick swatch video, we reviewed the Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick Collection. I'll link it above for those of you who are interested in checking that one out. In today's video specifically, we are going to be looking at the Burt's Bees Matte Sticks Collection. Hey guys, obviously, me on a different day. I was editing this video and realized that I forgot to add a disclaimer and I just quickly wanted to add that in here. Although the video is not sponsored, I was sent a PR package from Burt's Bees that include the Burt's Bees matte sticks that are featured in this video. So I want to make it clear that even though the video isn't sponsored itself, I did receive the product for free. So you guys can get back to the video now. In this video, I will be going through the lipsticks themselves. I will be swatching eight of the 12 colors for you guys, and then I will discuss a little bit about how they wear, what my thoughts are on the formula, and what my favorite colors are. As I've mentioned on this channel before, I'm a really big fan of Burt's Bees, especially when it comes to their lip products. Not only do I think that they are quite a high quality product for an affordable price, I really, really love how they put an emphasis on sustainability, not just when it comes to things like packaging their products, but also they're really big on sourcing their ingredients from nature, and they address their entire supply chain when it comes to sustainability. As their products are focused on sourcing their ingredients from nature, they also are free from having any harmful chemicals in them, which is really great. And they also do not test on animals, hitting so many different aspects of being a well-rounded and sustainable company. Moving on to speaking about a specific lip product today, the Burt's Bees Matte Sticks retail for only $9.99 Canadian, which is very, very affordable when it comes to a lip product, especially a lipstick. In Canada, they're also available at a number of affordable places like Amazon, Walmart, well.ca, and Shoppers Drug Mart. The Burt's Bees Matte Sticks come also in 12 different shades. I have eight of them to swatch for you today. So not all of them, but a good chunk of them. So I'm really hoping that through the swatches today, you guys can get a feel for how they apply, how they look on the lips, and maybe some shades that would be interesting for you to test out on yourself. Really quickly, before we jump into the swatches, I'm just gonna show you guys what a matte stick actually looks like. I'm just gonna take one of the ones I have here. So as you guys can see, the packaging is quite simple, maybe not as cute as some of the other packaging that they have on their lip products, but I have to say that one thing I really like is that the color of the bottom of the tube is the color of the lipstick shade, so it makes it really easy to find what you're looking for, as well because the lid is clear, you can also see the lipstick bullet, seeing the color for yourself there as well. So you pop off the clear lid and you can twist up the lipstick to see the bullet there, which comes angled, easy for application. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches and then afterwards we can talk a little bit about how they apply and how they work.
have it. There are eight of the 12 shades available in Burt's Bees current line of matte sticks. Something that's worth noting is that because beeswax is one of the key ingredients of the matte sticks, it does take a little bit more effort to have more opaque color payoff. I would also say that some of the colors in the shade range are able to build to a more opaque color than others. But that being said, they are incredibly buildable. I would say that overall they provide medium coverage. One color that didn't really work for me or my skin tone personally, and I found that the color payoff was quite patchy, was the color Rippling Rose. So that was this one. I believe it was the third lipstick that I swatched. Not my favorite of the collection, that's for sure. My favorite colors from the current shade range are Buttery Blush and the one I'm wearing right now, which is Rhubarb Rapids. I also really like the Liquid Ruby shade, which I thought was really pretty. I do find them to be very lightweight on the lips. It does not feel heavy whatsoever, and they are not sticky at all, which is really, really nice, especially for a matte lipstick. They do dry matte, which is really, really nice. And I have to say they're incredibly nourishing and very moisturizing, which again is typically not a characteristic that you get with the matte lipstick. Typically I don't end up going for matte lipsticks because although I really like how they look, I find them to be too drying on my lips and dry lips is something that I really struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. So I like that I can have the option of playing with a matte lip while still having my lips feel nourished and moisturized. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you guys can check out my future videos. My name is Lily, and if you guys are interested in seeing some more travel, lifestyle, and sustainability related content, you can check me out on social media at Lily's Lens on Life on all platforms. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!